Whoa, whoa, look at me. I'm not Docky Who, I'm Docky Strange. Oh, crikey. Hello, Whovians. Crispy Bro here, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for sticking around. I appreciate you, and you, and you. Never forget about that one. So I was doing a bit of research as I usually do to try and figure out, you know, what kind of Doctor Who video do I want to do next? And then I just saw article after article after article talking about a Doctor Who multiverse. And I was like, what? Excuse me? And I think these articles kept on coming up to try and justify, you know, David Tennant's return to Doctor Who because it, with all the filming pictures and everything, it seems as though nothing is as it seems when it comes to that. And it really got me thinking because like talking about parallel worlds and multiverses and all that um, isn't necessarily new to Doctor Who, but I didn't really talk about it in my theory video as to why um, I don't think David Tennant is the 14th Doctor. Um, but I think I think we can talk about it today. And that's what we're going to do. So strap yourselves in. It's going to be a crazy one. But before we get into it, hey, you know what I'm about to say. Uh, please like this video as it does help the algorithm. Please subscribe if you have not already. We are trying to reach 30,000 and we're getting there very, very slowly, um, which is great. And I appreciate everyone coming on board with the channel. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. And I also have a podcast called Who's There? A Doctor Who podcast. And we post every single weekend. So listen, listen. Please. Okay, so some of the places I saw this like multiverse theory stuff was from um, the Radio Times, Cinema Blend, uh, CBR, and there were a few others uh, talking about th this multiverse theory. All of these articles kind of cover a lot of the similar points, so I'll just like pick out a few key points here, there, and everywhere. Um, but I'll start with um, the one from the Radio Times. So welcome back to Crispy Reads Things from the Internet once again. Remembering the way we left things, Hoovians are questioning how the Doctor and Donna can be back together for the 60th anniversary. Donna's last adventure with Ten featured her taking on the mantle of Dr. Donna when she gained the power of the Time Lords to defeat Davros. Knowing this would burn up Donna's mind, the Doctor wiped her memories and hoped they'd never meet again. Donna then appeared in Tenet's Swan Song, where she nearly remembered their adventures, but once again had her mind wiped by a failsafe. That is very true. That is very, very true because, you know, one thing people wanted for a long time was for Catherine Tate to come back to the show, but, you know, the way they kind of ended her story, it seemed like it was almost an impossibility. Until today because she's back. Fueling the theories that Tennant's return isn't as the Doctor who regenerated into Matt Smith's Eleven, eagle-eyed fans notice he'd done away with his usual trench coat and has a new suit. And my goodness, does it look good. It, it looks awesome and I'm very, very excited to see that in high definition and not just blurry on, on, someone's, on someone's phone. Even if it's a simple wardrobe update, it doesn't explain how the Doctor and Donna are running around like nothing ever happened. Russell T. Davis already described their reunion as impossible. And if this isn't the Donna we left in 2010's End of Time, it's possible she's an alternate version who didn't become Dr. Donna. Okay, I will admit, after reading that, I'm kind of opening up to the idea of this being like an alternate reality. It'd be kind of cool if we just like told a random story from a different universe for like a few specials. But it would be cool if this reality, you know, kind of saw the 10th Doctors live on a little bit longer than what happened, you know? Uh, and without the whole Dr. Donna thing, maybe they're still just having adventures um, and growing old together, I don't know. But then the article goes on to talk about our new uh, Rose because Yasmin Finney from Netflix's Heartstopper fame was recently cast in the 60th special as Rose. And a lot of people online were very mad about the idea that this is a recasting of Rose Tyler but anyway, I'll, I'll read the article. At the center of it all appears to be Finney's mysterious casting as Rose, whose character description doesn't give anything away. While being referred to as New Rose raises some questions, it also leans into the idea of the multiverse. This isn't the first time Doctor Who has dipped its toe in the multiverse, and nor is it the first time Donna and Rose, specifically the version played by Billy Piper, have been a part of it. In season two, the Doctor and Rose accidentally traveled to a parallel world where the Cybermen rose again, and Rose was later trapped in the world after a clash with the Daleks. That is true, one of my favorite um, two-part stories there is the, the Age of Cybermen, um, what is it? The Age of Steel? Age of Steel, Rise of Cybermen. I got those two confused. But yeah, that story is great, but it has far too many blimps. Far too many blimps. Rose was to return in season four when the walls between realities broke down, but at the close of the story. Tate's Dr. Donner explained how dimensional retro closure sealed the walls between universes. This stopped multiversal travel and confined Piper's Rose to an alternate universe with the Metacrisis Doctor. I forgot about all that. I actually really forgot about that. 
that they've kind of like mentioned it and they're like, oh yeah, it's sealed off. You can no longer go to these dimensions. Ooh, but what if they open it up again? It's possible Finney's Rose has found a way to travel the multiverse like the OG famously did in Rose Tyler. The Dimension Canon audio anthology on Big Finish. Piper has repeatedly said she's open to reprising her role as Rose, but it remains to be seen if she'll actually make a comeback. For now, Finney's casting nearly sets up the return of Piper's Rose, or just as easily on his tenant's days without having the star who played arguably his most famous companion along for the ride. I like the idea that in another dimension, another Rose found like multiversal travel technology, much like we saw with our Rose in that Dalek 2 parter. Because if our Rose can use it, then what's to stop another universe's Rose from coming into ours? But is Rose Tennant's most famous Doctor Who companion? I guess so. Wasn't she a pop star at one point? But anyway, I see where this article is going, and whilst I do like the theory, um, there were some online that were saying that, um, you know, Billy Piper, uh, like Rose, has been completely recast. Like, that character is not, is no longer happening like and we have Yasmin Finney in one nothing has been confirmed at this point she could just have the same name like a lot of other people do out there two as this article suggests you know it could just be an alternate dimension so you know the rose that we know will will be left intact you know every your 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 brilliant story will be left untouched and we have Yasmin Finney coming in three and mild spoilers mild speculation nothing has been confirmed at this point but it is heavily believed and I believe this that um, Yasmin Finney is in fact playing um, the daughter of both Sean and Donna and they named their daughter Rose. So yeah, that's very, very interesting. But do I think that a multiverse thing is happening for the 60th? No, I I don't think. I don't think it could still happen. I like the theory, but I, I do not think that that's the case. I think that there is something even more wacky going on. But do I think a multiverse is a bad idea for Doctor Who in general? No, not at all. I think, I think it's time we embrace that kind of stuff. As I said before, it's a sci-fi show. There's so many cool things that could happen from a storytelling perspective with like a multiverse angle. And the article from Cinema Blend actually made some really good points as to why it could work. The first one being, as I've already said, um, Doctor Who has dabbled in the multiverse before. Absolutely, the rise of Cyberman, Age of Steel. And then we had Rose jumping between universes um, in that Dalek 2 part at the end of series two. And I guess Turn Left kind of looks at like an alternate universe as to what would have happened if Donna turned left in her car. Another point they mentioned is that a multiverse allows Doctor Who to revisit classic stories with new actors or different outcomes. Can you imagine? Like, I don't know how many of you have seen the show What If, but um, it's a really cool uh, Marvel series. You know, I do watch a few Marvel series and it kind of goes through, um, the, you know, the different Marvel movies, but what if something changed? What if this was different? It's basically if every episode was a different turn left. Like, imagine what if uh, it was Jodie's Doctor in Heaven's Imagine if we had the ninth Doctor and Clara go on an adventure. What if it was Tennant that met Amy in the garden? Like there's so many cool little like weird stories that they could do and it would be really, really cool. Do I think it's going to happen in the show? <sighs> Unlikely, like it feels like very much a big finish thing to do. They're probably already doing stuff like that. Um, but I would love to see it in live action, definitely. Did they mention the multiverse in Flux? I swear there's a scene where she's talking to like Tech Tayun and she's like, oh yeah, multiverse. And I was like, oh, multiverse. Uh, Flux Tech Tayun. How do you spell Tech Tayun? Doctor Who Flux Episode 5 builds upon the Timeless Child retcon with the Doctor's origin confirming and explaining the existence of the multiverse. So it is kind of in Doctor Who. It is kind of already there. Well, I mean, go for it now. I don't care. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for listening. But please let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about a Doctor Who multiverse? Are you open to this idea? Um, do you have any ideas for multiversal stories? Please let me know in the comments below and I would love to read them. Um, yeah, let me know your opinions on the Doctor Who multiverse, please. Please like this video and subscribe if you have not already. And I will chat to you very, very shortly. Um, yeah, Alon Z. Excuse me, Crispy Pro, I need you to move your vehicle. I will move my vehicle. All right, guys, I gotta go. See ya. Bye.